what you're looking at here is a radiant, inside a radiant 8,000, it's 48 volt, 8,000, well, I think it's the first generation. I wanted to show you a simple project I just did. Now, I'm going to follow my fingers right here without touching because it's 240 volts. This side here, I have number 10 wire coming in, and this is number 8. Number 10 wire will support 7,200 watts, but I'm, I never predict, need to get this much out of this the, out of this unit because this is a 4,000 watt. This is a 4,000 watt. Together they can produce 8,000 watts supposedly. But for now, the number 10 wire is fine. I'll show you why I'm doing it. But I wanted to point out on that side right there. That's for grid tie. The next one over is for the generator. Now this one right here, because this is a hybrid inverter, you're going to see neutral L1, L2 out. That means that is for uh, non-grid tie. So uh, you want to have off-grid, that's off-grid right there, which I don't have it hooked up right now. This is for grid tie, this is for off-grid. I will be switching to off grid shortly. Well, what I've done is I found another YouTuber uh, that had something on this EKM metering system. Now it's an EKM 251DS and the reason I put it in is I stripped back all this wire because this all went in here. I stripped back all the wire so you can run the two wires through here. There's two screws you two screws on this under this cover that you tighten up and pierces the wire. This tells me, because my mate it's not I don't it's not that accurate. I want to know how much I'm feeding back into the grid. And this is the first day that I saw it yesterday. Didn't take me long, you just get some din rail. It comes in three foot sections. I cut off about five inches mounts right on the DIN rail but this tells me how much I'm putting back in the grid because I have two electric vehicles and three uh, mini duck heat pumps <laughs> that suck up energy I'd like to know how much I'm putting back now the nice thing about this is it tells me I've so today I put 7.16 kilowatt I've got my uh, Bolt EV plugged in right now, so it's taking <laughs> seven kilowatts. Now well, six point five probably kilowatt right now. So that's where all my energy is going. Also, I have a Sunny Boy, and the nice thing about the Sunny Boy is that it tells me right here it's produced three point two five two four kilowatts, and right now it's producing sixteen hundred and thirty five watts. So, I don't need one on there. My Xantrex is going to be hooked up eventually, I hope, when I take apart my salvage bolt. Anyway, this is all hooked up to six volt batteries, two banks. Now, these put out, I don't know if it says 107, but they're about 105 amps. So, one bank at 48 volts. Well, there's, there's 16 here, so that's 210 amps. 210 amps on this side. So, uh, that's 420 amps I have going through here. I also have this shunt meter right here that's telling me how much I'm using off the batteries. See, there's a difference. Right now it says I've taken 3.6. What's right now is taken off the batteries. 3.6 kilowatt hours. This is how much I'm putting back in the grid. This is what my mate says. 3.2. Right here. 3.8. See, I wanted to know. So that's why I bought this meter. I bought this on eBay for $90 directly from EKM Metering. They sell them. It's a very nice meter. Does not reset. It'll give me on my accumulative. If I want to keep track of day, I'd have to write down what the end of the day, what it is, and then subtract out. But 
I don't care about that. I like to know how much kilowatts I'm putting back in the grid because they're not paying me for that. We, uh, uh, we're on Nodak Electric, which is out of Grand Forks, North Dakota, and they have a whole bunch of hoops you have to jump through to be on the grid. Even though I'm on the grid and they know I'm on the grid, as soon as I get off the grid, then they can give me re uh, half price on uh, charging my electric vehicle, which I have a separate wiring going into the garage, which I can do that. But anyway, I just wanted to tell you about this neat little meter right here. $90, well worth it. Thought I'd tell you about it. One correction about this meter. It's not what's going into the grid. It's what this 8,000 watt is producing today. Because I'm using this, not going into the grid, I'm using that power probably right now uh, on charging my bolt. So, my bolt EV. So, just wanted to make that clarification. This is how much is coming out of the inverter.